So the product of the week, we kind of already show you, but is this awesome knife from SniperBladeWorks.com. I want to give a huge shout out to them. Thank you so much to them. Signature fixed blade. And I believe they're taking orders. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. There's a Kickstarter set up for you now to the, the 14th. If you look at the top right, Mikhail, you can see it's one of 75. Do you see that? The back of the box, Mikhail? Oh, on, on the box. Where it says made for America gun chick. Yep. It's specialized, pretty cool. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. It says made for America made for at American gun chick. <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah, it came in this and then it was really cool because it came in this awesome holster right here. And this is a nice little holster. And this is how you open up the holster right here. I have this same type of holster for my pistols and you basically um, press this button down here and it opens this up and then you got to wear a belt or something that it can really clip onto but you clip it onto your belt and then you close it like that and it's nice and secure and then if you see right here it has some grooves right here that's where you would press your thumb you got to press down on it as you pull out and then it easily slides out so if you hear it locks in really nice. See, it's it's not come well. It'll come out, but if you jerk really hard, but it's locked in there really, really nicely. Just so you know, the, for a knife, it's called a sheath. I'm pretty sure. Oh, so it wouldn't be a holster. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I'm not a knife expert or anything, you know. So just like my firearms journey, I'm not scared to get into things that I don't know a whole lot about and put myself out there on the internet and learn through that. I think that's the best way to learn is to put yourself out there. So I'm not a knife expert, um, but I do own this knife now, thanks to them. And I do want to learn about it because I, I feel like if I'm going to own something like this or anything, I want to know the ins and outs of it and know more about it. So I'm definitely going to watch some of those videos that I have all about knives. And YouTube is actually also a great tool. I can learn so much on YouTube about knives and uh, stuff like that. So I was calling this a holster, and if this is not a holster, if you have a knife, it's called a, sh a shield, a sheave, a sheave. Then um, let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. But I was calling it a holster because <laughs> we don't know a lot. But this, uh, read the back right here. That's gonna tell them more about what what about the knife. Okay. All right. So there's a description back here, and it says the map. Is it Mamu? Mamu, I think. The Mamu is an interpretation of the classic field knife. And and it made its debut on the Discovery Channel's Man Woman Wild. It is made of um, 1095 steel. This knife features a black PVD coating for non-glare rust resistance and protection from the elements. The Mamu also includes our standard ergonomic grip and has G10 scales. The blade also comes with an injection molded sheath, you're right, sheath with a uniform revetted pattern that mates with all of our Sniper Blade Works sheaths, allowing for a variety of carry combinations. The 2020 Reload Mamu is the most um, advanced version of this knife to date. So pretty cool. Um, if you guys own any knives, what knives do you own? and? If you have any tips on knife carrying and or just any tips on knives in general favorite knives anything let me know so yeah this knife like I carry appendix with my pistol so I carry it right on my stomach but this one you know it felt really weird to carry it right there and my guns already there so it's kind of in the way so I carried this on my hip um, this obviously is not easy to conceal so I actually carried this today um, I went on a hike today. Hold on one second, Kay. Um, he said, can I ask, is that made in America? Uh, 100% sure. We're going to show a video. If you guys have any questions, direct them towards Adam Penner. Um, I, he's involved with the social, I mean, the uh, Sniper Blade Works. And uh, he said, glad you like it, AGC. There's a lot more info on our Kickstarter page, including a cool short video about the knife. We are going to play that video here shortly on the live feed. Yeah. You can talk about your hike today, sorry. Yeah, so 
I carried this today, um, just today, like all day or whatever. And today I went on a hike and, you know, nobody looked at me weird or anything. You know, I went into town and went to this office to ask them where they had any places to hike. And there's a lady there. She was super sweet. And nobody was weirded out or anything. Um, I'm sure if you carry this like in the middle of the city or something, people would be kind of weird about it or whatever. But no, it was comfortable. I had it right. So I carried um, right on my hip because obviously my gun was in the way. And it felt comfortable. It felt just fine. You know, I felt like if I needed to get it out really quick, I could get it out. But, you know, I, I think it's also good to have a knife on you, you know. Obviously, your pistol is your um, first, res first resort. Like, if someone was attacking me, obviously I'm going to use my pistol over anything else. But it doesn't hurt to have a knife in case you ever have to cut something or, let's say, zombies are attacking you and you got to be quiet. <laughs> but I just love pulling this thing out and messing with it. This thing is so cool. And it's so, it's so pretty. I don't know if you can really like see it through the camera how cool looking it is because black background all that stuff but it's a really cool nice knife you can use that to get, get your next hog yeah I mean you could probably yeah I could, oh yeah I could use this to get my next hog so some of our friends um, down here in Texas they go hog hunting but the way they go hog hunting is a little bit different <laughs> than anything that I've done or seen so what they do is they get um like a couple dogs that are very trained smart dogs and they find the hog they're on i don't know if they drive in like a buggy or what it is and then when they find the hog the dogs will go out and they'll like grab the ears of the hog and like pin the hog down and keep the hog from going anywhere and moving and they run up and pull a knife out like this and then they like slit the throat of the hog or whatever. And they stick it in the heart. <laughs> oh, I they slit the throat. I think they do either or. I'm not sure. I'm not a pro. So man. they either, they basically kill them with a knife though. They either stab their heart or slit their throat. But I, when I heard that, I was like, geez, I don't know. I don't know. That sounds a little bit too graphic for me. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I could do that, but you know. Oh, oh, the dog's down. The dog's down there licking his leg. The dog's down there licking his leg. Uh, Stragic Insomniac said, "There's something so seductive about knives, though. Absolutely beautiful, and you don't run out of ammo. That is the good thing. You don't run out of ammo. You know, your knife just stays working." Adam. But, uh, Adam said, "Our designer Lance is former SWAT, so he's brought a lot of gun design into the knives, and you can definitely feel it. Like when I when we when it arrived, then she pulled it out, and I looked at it. It fits." beautifully into your hand we're not again naive people but it like <laughs> adam we were blown away when this thing got here blown away yeah and, I, and i'm really getting the hang of the sheath is that how you say sheath i want to call it a holster but i'm really getting a hang of the sheath um it's really easy to just pull out you know if you just push your thumb right there and push down really nice the, the bad part is it's so nice that you almost don't want to use it for anything because it's kind of a piece of art like it's it's I don't know it's beautiful yeah yeah this I'm gonna show you guys this blade video real quick it's only like five minutes long right Woo! you know I don't know if anybody's ever made the perfect knife there's always something else you could do to it or try and tweak it Look at that. And I think cool. my See, craft is know. still evolving. Obviously, I knew they had to melt it down and uh, shape it and stuff. But... Making knives, it really is um, like an art. Like, it really is. It is art. Beautiful. I'm a gun guy, but I like knives better. It is one of man's first tools. I think that resonates with a lot of people. It, it, it hits somewhere in there. I'm not really sure what my title is. <laughs> I answer to a lot of things, and I'm one of the owners of Sniper Blade Works, uh, knife maker. Which used to be a SWAT guy Larry once upon a time. Harley used to hunt hogs with a knife. I'm not terribly mechanical. I've never had a shop class. Not that bright. <laughs> um, you know, I had to have a lot of help to get there, but there is a fantastic feeling of satisfaction when you actually handcraft something, taking 
a pile of things that are all rectangular, right? And then you take that and form it, shape it, profile it, cut it out on the bandsaw. And then at the end of the day, you know, you've got a handmade custom knife built out of that, really which is awesome fantastic, to go right? Down to the shop and actually watch them make a knife, and maybe I make my own knife too. I think the SWAT team has helped influence my knife making or just being a deputy sheriff and a cop and a detective is it allows me to use knives in a tactical setting. It allows me to design things to fit the situation. I like all this stuff to have a little bit of pistol grip to it. Because uh, I think it nice gets knife. the tip of the blade pointing down range, right, without having to cant your wrist way over. We got this little hump here that takes up that gap in your hand. It feels very comfortable, it feels very natural. I want it to just melt into your hand. We like a little bit of the belly. Well, if you put an arc in there, you get more cutting surface. Same thing like with serrations. You've, you've upped the cutting surface. I've been a knife guy since I was a little kid. They did, uh, the Knife Makers Guild used to be in Kansas City. So we would go to that show with my dad. In the early 90s, I designed some stuff. And then somewhere in the early 2000s, dad got back into some high-end knives and he's like, you can design whatever you want. I'll pay for it, let's get it made. And that's from there is kind of where the Sniper Blade Works uh, came from. If you're a rock star, you want to be on the cover of Rolling Stone. If you're a model, you want to be on the cover of Cosmo. So, I mean, I think that's a goal for everybody in whatever industry you're on. I mean, we want to do our own thing and be original, but it's nice to be recognized and have people dig what you're doing and feel like they get it. That's so interesting watching. So, I mean, I, Heat yeah, it up. that doesn't sound too vain. Yeah, fuck yeah, I wanted to be on a magazine. You know, the blade cover, dad was still alive when that happened. I mean, that means more I'm to curious me. how hot stuff. It truthfully. has to get before they can start carving. You know, he was around to see that. To bend metal. I mean, I, I hope this is successful sure, and runs really, well, really but I'd, I'd, be curious I'd trade all that to make exactly. sure he had seen what if anyone did. knows. These knives will be around long after I'm gone, right? There'll be a couple young dudes just like us at a show geeking out on all the stuff and they're like, what's the Sniper Blade Works? They're like, yeah, they're in these crazy fat SWAT guys used to make them in their garage. They're pretty neat. I'm excited about the production side of this because it's the same. It's the same feeling, right? I take an idea that went from my head, got drawn out on paper, sent it off, and then the whole thing comes to fruition. But when you know that little seed sparked in your grape, and then you actually get it back as a finished product. It's a good feeling. Well, thank you, Adam. I'm gonna have a blast using this knife, so I don't feel like there's more weight on this side or more weight on this side. I feel like it just feels really even and nice. It feels very lightweight, like I can move it around easy and do stuff with it. Um, so, yeah. Adam said, Anthony, very well balanced. It's solid. We went through a nine-month engineering process for the five knives we're bringing to the market for the kickstart. 